All right, we're gonna flip you over. Make this easier for me. Oh, nope, we can't do that. This went a lot smoother last week. <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. I think it's afternoon. Um, I'm here over at the Trinity Thrift Shop, which is behind me. And I have a really, um, a really great announcement. So we had a lot of craft items left um, from the bazaar. And so we've decided to put them in the thrift shop through the rest of December and through the month of January. And they are marked down from their original prices. They're not at thrift shop prices, but they're still a really good value for all the items. Uh, we've already sold some as we were putting it out. So you're gonna wanna get over here and check out what we have. Um, and there's Renee, hey Renee. Hi, Renee's over there pricing a really cool blanket uh, that we'll take a look at. So let's take a look at a few things that we have. Uh, so when you come into the thrift store, or when you come in the main lobby here, there's the thrift store, and there's the door where you come in. Uh, we've got a rack here, so let's start with this rack. Um, we put this rack together. We're marking all of our handcrafted, uh, hand-knit mittens, hats, and scarves down to uh, mittens $5, hats $5, and scarves $4. And we have some really beautiful stuff here, guys. I mean, and you can actually come into the store now, COVID-friendly. We have our little uh, sanitation station over there and a place where you can sign in for um, contact tracing. But um, you can touch them, you can feel them, you can put them on. We've got adult sizes, we've got kids sizes, we've got teenage sizes. Um, and these really are great little um, extra gifts uh, for stockings or just to, to round out your Christmas shopping. Um, and they're really beautiful and soft. Look, these are fingerless gloves. Um, a lot of the kids like these or teens because they can um, still touch their phones. We have actually quite a few of those, different colors. Uh, here we've got some that actually have finger outlets for the thumb as opposed to just holes, which is what the other ones have. Um, let's see, we'll spin the thing. Uh, we talked about these on some of the other Facebook Lives. These are great little stocking stuffers, and we didn't sell many of these. Uh, I don't know why. $5, and what it is, it's a craft kit, and it has everything you need in it to make one of these candy cane lace ornaments. And yeah, they're kind of ticky-tacky, but you know what's cool about it? It'll be handmade by whoever receives it and then gives it to someone else or just hangs it on their tree. And this candy cane lace is made in Rhode Island and has been for over 30 years. Uh, there's a, uh, an old mill in Lincoln where they still have the machine upstairs to make it. And then downstairs they have a uh, sewing store. This is our Santa key. Um, everybody always wonders how does Santa get in when there's no chimney? Well, this is how you do it. You have Santa's magical key. You hang it on the door outside for him. And one day a year, his magic makes it come alive and work in your door lock. Um, those are marked at, I believe, $4. I forgot to put price tags on them, but I will. Um, and those were originally five. We're gonna mark them down to four for you. Here I've got one left of the chapstick holders and we've marked it down to $3, which is a real bargain. Um, I think these were originally five. And what it is, this little pouch holds a chapstick. There's a brand new chapstick in there. Um, and I've been told by women they really like these because they're always fishing their chapstick out of the bottom of their purse. Um, and this way you can hang it onto a zipper or onto the top and um, it won't get lost. And the same thing here with our hand sanitizer pouches. Great for the kids to hang on their backpacks, although... Um, tell them not to take them out on the bus because we got yelled at that way in our household. So, so we've got some kids' mittens. Aren't they cute? They're so tiny. Um, plenty of mittens. Um, Renee just put these out. These are our hanging Christmas trees. They're quilted Christmas trees uh, with little bobbins as their, um, not bobbins, but spools, thread spools as their base. They will actually stand up like on a mantelpiece if you're very careful, but they also hang quite nicely on the tree or on a window or anything of that sort. I'm down to five. I love this, this nice tan colored one. I bought myself a hat actually, uh, and it was made out of this. This is so soft. You really can't tell, but it is so soft. Hi Robin, hi Mary Jane. Tell all your friends that this is all available in the thrift shop now. Um, not at thrift shop prices, but still at really deep discounts. $5 all hats and mittens. 
I love this one. It's got this like speckly oatmeal on it and orange. I really like orange in case you don't know. I have an orange car. We've got yoga socks. Those I think we marked down to like three. Yep, $3. Uh, we've got some beautiful scarves. This is a nice infinity scarf. It actually matches a pair of the mittens that's up above, but we separated them out. So if you want the set, you've got to get here before somebody buys one of them. We've got some other beautiful scarves. These are all hand-knit, most of them by Norma. This is a really cool one, too. If you use um, body wash and use one of those poofs, we've got hand-crocheted ones. There's only one left. I think that's marked down to $2. Um, and what's great about it is when it gets grungy, you throw it in the wash. And we have one tote left. These are my handmade totes. Oop, this one is made out of thrifted fabric. So let's take a look over here. We've got some other cool stuff. Uh, and this is your chance to really get something that you can wear. Um, this is a beautiful handkerchief scarf. Uh, not handkerchief scarf. Handkerchief shawl or wrap uh, knit by Liz. And Liz did a really beautiful job with it. Um, it, it looks on camera like it's really bright but it's more of a buttery color um it's really not as um not as vibrant it's not as, as traffic cone red as uh, orange as it looks on camera so we got five people watching hello everybody so we have this um this is a tank top that i actually sewed and i'll tell you this is a really good deal because there's probably close to twenty dollars worth of custom printed fabric in this um but I'm letting it go for $18. Yeah. Um, it's a women's medium uh, or a small wood fit as well. It flares out, so it's not a totally fitted one. And it's got a racer back on it with the unicorns on the back. And the front says, first coffee, then magic. Again, over here at the thrift store. Thrift store, by the way, is open three days a week. Uh, we're open... Um, Wednesday, 10 to 2, Friday, 10 to 2, and Saturday, 10 to 4. It's right here on the church campus at 249 Danielson Pike. So this is a, a cape. I actually made these, and the inside is fleece. It's a nice little, like, throwover poncho cape. It's a kid's size 6, 7. Um, I'll be honest with you, it'll fit even bigger than a seven. Uh, I had it on my nine-year-old the other day who wears about a size eight. And if it's fine, it just gets shorter and becomes more of a waistcoat than one that goes past the butt. Um, and it's got a hood on the back of it. Um, this one's linen. So uh, you would want to just like wash this one on cold and let it hang dry. Otherwise the linen will shrink and you'll end up with curling on the edges. And you don't want to ruin that beautiful stitch detail that I added to the edges. Um, it doesn't have to be dry clean though. And that's only 10 bucks. And that's a really good deal. Uh, what else we have? We have our little baby bunting. This is how it actually fits. It's a picture of the pattern, um, but it's in a rainbow color. Um, we have some masks. These are um, like a teenage size mask. We're calling them teenage size, but really what they are is they're like a small adult. They fit really well adults with smaller faces. Um, in fact, I've been told the teens really like them. And then we have some more in the back that are the pleated masks. Uh, I think we have a Rugrats one left. Some dog, paw, dog paws. And this one is a Norman Rockwell uh, football one. Uh, we've got some of these left. These make great teacher's gifts. Hi, Nancy. Um, one says coffee and Amazon. It's a mug and it's got some chocolates in it. These are all fresh chocolates. Um, and the other one's Disney, says my Disney planning mug on the back. We've still got plenty of John's applesauce. I'm telling you guys, this is delicious. You will never go back to Mott's if you try this stuff. Uh, it's a cranberry applesauce, but it is not extra tart. and has no sugar added. Just uh, apples and about a bag of cranberries per bushel of apples. So that tells you that it's really not, just enough to give it a little bit of a cranberry flavor, but not enough to make it tart. Uh, this is a beautiful women's small to medium, you'd have to try it on, uh, peasant sweater in the back. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Look at the detail in the peasant work, uh, the peasant detail at the top. Norma does such a beautiful job. Um, 
This is this is our friend. Uh, what is her? Her name's Sam. We call her, and she is modeling this cool slouchy hat. This would be perfect for like a tweenager, teenager. Um, keep them warm, and then we also have a nice um, cowl marked down to four dollars. I think we were getting eight for those in the bazaar, so half off. How can you beat that? We've got some pot holders in the back, including uh, a double crochet or double knit one. We've got some more of these um, hang on the uh, hang on your uh, stove. Ones, I keep these, in fact, I bought two of these from the bazaar because I don't get around to making them myself. So, uh, and I love having them so that I have something to wipe my hands on when I wash them in the kitchen. We've got some gorgeous, gorgeous scarves. We've got one scarf here that's marked a little higher because it's kind of a nicer quality, um, higher end and such beautiful colors, it's $6. And there's one in the back there that should be the usual four. You bought the cranberry applesauce. It's delicious. Thank you. I'm glad to hear that the mini loaves were awesome. Thank you, Carolyn. And thank you for, for supporting us. What? We have more mini loaves? Chris says we have more mini loaves. We'll sell them to you for a buck a piece if you come in. Um, we have one small topiary left. I have one of these. And I'll tell you, I put it up um, right on my... Uh, I put it up right on my end table so I can look at it. It's right next to my daughter's school picture. Uh, we have some more of these. I still think these would look great uh, hanging in the center of a window because they're a little bit bigger than a typical ornament. Uh, what else do we have? We have, oh, we have a couple more layette sets, baby sets. Um, and with that, you get the, Renee, did we pack them as sets? Uh, some of them. All right, so we have two sets here, and then the other one she split up, but you can possibly still get them. Um, so they, they come with the sweater, and look at the detail Norma does in those sweaters. So pretty. Um, booties, a hat, and a blanket. This one is a scalloped blanket. And then we have one in yellow. It's not scalloped. I think it's pretty much the same sweater. And then we also have, I'm so surprised that this, this wrap did not go, but this is so beautiful. It really, it's so soft, so soft. Another one of my, um, my uh, capes, this one is lined with blue fleece and a sort of blue, gray, and red and white out, outside. This one is cotton, this one can go right into the dryer. Um, I would dry it on medium, not high, just so that you don't get the curling around the edges because the cotton will shrink a little bit the first time you wash it, um, but the, um, the fleece is polyester, so it's not going to shrink. So you'd get a little bit of curling around the edge if you don't want it to shrink at all. And again, I use the scallop detail. This one would be good for a boy. Um, if you don't want it to shrink at all, I would just drip dry it. It'll dry pretty quickly. Um, Mark down to $10. This is a 4.5. Like I said, this would fit probably a 6. I had it on my daughter. Um, it fit her, but it was like well above her waist. So just to give you an idea, and she's 9, wearing a size 8. So uh, We've got these blankets. These blankets are so beautiful. Somebody bought one of them. Um, they're a double thick, like a polar fleece. So they're really heavy and warm. Nice lap throw um, to have on your, on your couch. Um, See if I can actually get this. I'm kneeling down. Um, these are so cute. And I thought somebody was going to buy this a little earlier, and she didn't. I love this. It's a ras. It doesn't look like it on here, but it's a raspberry color. Justin, I have one hanging also. You do? Yeah. Um, and we think that's probably a toddler. I yeah. A toddler size, maybe two or three, depending on how petite the kid is. Uh, we've got another one of our casserole carriers in the back. Um, we have some more. I love Norma's sweaters, and I don't think any of them sold. This is a sweater set. It's a beautiful oatmeal speckled. Mark down to $15, guys. You really can't beat this. Um, comes with a hat and mittens. Only 15 you guys that are online, it's, there's two of you left. Let me know if there's something in particular you want to see. Um, we have more sweaters here, different colors. We have a, a kid's peasant sweater. It's like the one I showed you earlier, but it's a kid's size. 
Oh, the blanket. Lovely. Beautiful afghan. This is more of a throw afghan, and then you've got another one in blue. So we put out our mystery ornament packs. We actually sold a few of these. Um, three bucks, and you get six handmade ornaments inside. Um, but you get to be surprised as to what they are. We have our coloring book totes. Again, all the crayons. Um, we really want to sell these. We marked them down to seven from 12. Um, we really want to sell them because we have to store all this stuff up in the attic. It gets really warm in there in the summer, and I can't store the crayons. So please come in and buy. We have two trucks left. We have a handful of the, oh, the places you'll go, Dr. Seuss. And cars. If you have grandkids or kids, these are great little extra gifts. We have two mask holders left. Um, these, as I've pointed out before, you hang them around your neck, kind of like um, glasses ones, but they have clips on them, so you can clip them onto the ear loops of your masks. I'm sorry, I wasn't like holding the camera right. Um, and that way the kids can't lose their masks. We have two of those left, and we had four glasses ones left as well. I just handed those back to Lynette, and she said she was gonna try to put um, clips on the ends so that they would work with masks as well. And we've, I said, yep, I showed you all this stuff. We've got some of these. These actually sold really well, but we just had a lot of them. Um, Pam makes these. They're cute little standing trees. These are small ones. We've got some larger ones that are over in the thrift shop. Uh, pot holders, different kinds of quilted ones. And then we have the double knit one underneath. Okay, I think we kind of got all the stuff here. Let's take a walk through the thrift shop. Um, thrift shop, we'll show you some of the regular thrift shop stuff. We've got plenty of winter coats here. So you definitely want to have a look at those. Let's see what we got in here. Um, they've got their little Christmas display set up here with Santa. We've got some more of Pam's ornaments. Um, we didn't sell a lot of these. These are our, we have Christmas and non-Christmas ones, but they are um, reading pillows. So you stick a book in there and put it on the kid's bed and that's the book that you're gonna read tonight or you can hide your pajamas in the pocket. And we have some adult ones right here. Everyone comes with an activity book or the adult ones come with some sort of a reading book. I think one of them has a, an adult coloring book and pencils. Um, there's the sea life, dinosaurs, the birds for the adults or an older kid. And then we have this huge one here, um, $8 for all the small ones. And then I marked this one 12 because it's huge. And it also comes with a copy of A Christmas Story, the movie. Um, regular thrift store stuff we've got lots of jewelry jewelry goes well around here including a couple of bizarre jewelry items um these are lynette's sea glass earrings um which don't look that great because they're kind of jangling around in there but uh, we have a few more of those um small clutches and then you can check out our entire wall of purses pocketbooks wallets and scarves fashion scarves this is one of uh hi tracy um this is a shawl that i am shocked did not sell or a wrap rather this is a square wrap um but you can do it as a triangle this is one way you can wear it uh we've put it on the mannequin so that it's kind of um asymmetrical off the side of you you can also wear it symmetrically so that the point comes down by the belly button um, and you can wear it, um, you know, as a traditional sort of shawl over the shoulders. Um, lots of ways you can wear this thing. And what you can do, we put a little pin on it. And you can have the pin with it if you ask. Um, but this works really, really well with a, what's called a shawl pin, which is a, uh, it looks almost like a chopstick. And you stick it through. We don't have any of those in the store, though. So here we have uh, ladies' pants. Let's see what else we got. We've got a few of the larger Christmas trees in the window. Let me check them out. These would be cute like on a mantle, a pair of them, or maybe um, a little forest of them on a, on a table. Uh, here's our regular stock of Christmas, Christmassy colored sweaters. There's some that are actually Christmas and some of them are just festive reds and whites. The denim wall. We're into the regular thrift store at this point. 
Um, we've actually got a box of fabric here, which I should stay away from because I like to sew. If you like to sew, it looks like a lot of quilting fabric, some nicer ones. Look at this, satin PJs. Get your ugly Christmas sweaters so that you can do your Zoom call with your family this year. We've got plenty of them. We have plenty of regular sweaters that you can bedazzle and turn into ugly Christmas sweaters. Here's our um, another sweater right in front of our ladies' dresses. Here's another sweater. We've got plenty of sweaters, Christmas sweaters. Cardigans. We've got some um, fleece. This is like unisex fleece, I believe, or maybe men's. Might be a little bit of both. All right. We're going to wander back here. Um, this was... We lost you for a second. Sorry about that. Um, you can cross it over and then put your jacket on, and it'll keep your neck warm without being the bulk of a normal scarf. All right. We've got our shoe wall over here. We've got plenty of nice shoes. We actually sell quite a few shoes. Um, a lot of these shoes have only been worn a couple of times because they were bought for specific reasons. To go with an outfit. Looks like we got a new shoe rack over here too with some kids' shoes. Uh, hours tomorrow. We're not open tomorrow, Carolyn. We are open... Um, Wednesday from 10 to 2, Friday 10 to 2, and Saturday 10 to 4 for the thrift shop. And you can get all the bizarre stuff through the thrift shop now. They're going to be rolling those carts out into the foyer so you can have a look at it. We've got some um, girls' dresses, Christmas dresses. And we'll just take a quick walk through the housewares. We've put a couple of things in here. Um, I don't think I mentioned the bowl koozies. I'm telling you, this is a good deal, five bucks, because we usually get, I think, eight to 12 for these. Uh, but what they are is a little quilted thing, and they're made with a particular kind of cotton batting so that they're microwave safe. You put your bowl in it just like this. Let me grab a bowl off the shelf. Let's pretend this is your soup bowl, and it's a little bit bigger. Um, you put it in here like this, and you just throw it right in the microwave, the whole thing. And what's nice about it is you ever try to get soup out of the microwave and almost burn yourself? Well... That's what this fixes. Um, the bowl will get hot. The cozy will not. This one happens to be Yankees, but we've got some Red Sox. We've got some um, we've got Red Sox, Bruins, Yankees, and I think we're out of the Marvel comic ones. So I think all we have left is the sports ones. Oh, Santa cookie jar here. What else we got? Some tchotchkes. These are from our bazaar. These were made by um, Jess, who works over at Cindy's. Actually, her family owns Cindy's. It says wine in Amazon. It's a wine glass. And then this one says my Disney planning glass. And they're also filled with uh, Hershey's Kisses and Hershey's Minis. Um, even though they're sitting in the thrift store, those are fresh chocolate. I put them together myself. Just give you an idea what we have in our housewares. Housewares, they're running a sale today. I don't know how long it extends, but half off on all housewares. And we've even got these fleece blankets here. I mean, what a deal. They are marked $2, so you get them for a buck. Now, I'll tell you a little secret. These are the ones that I used for the insides of those capes. We have some kids' wear down here. We had so much kids' wear that the... Uh, the pole actually crashed to the ground last week. <laughs> so we had to put it back up with stronger hardware. We've got some bedding, some curtains, some uh, tablecloths. Actually, I don't know if there's curtains, but there's tablecloths. And, oh, that's my mirror. I think I donated that mirror. Well, it's not mine anymore. Oh, here's another one of our bizarre items. This is a casserole carrier, and guess what? It's marked $12, and we're going to give you the casserole dish that goes with it. It's actually, I think this is more of a soup terrine. And that's, you know what? That's actually a really great use for this that I even think of. You could use the soup terrine, fill it with some fresh-made chowda. Chowda, we're in Rhode Island. Um, some soup or whatever, and pick it up, and off you go to your potluck that hopefully we can have sometime soon. Pfizer just had its vaccine approved, so who knows? Maybe by 
Maybe by spring we can start moving around. It won't be soup season, but... Here's all of our table linens. Uh, there's some curtains in there. I think those are my tab curtains, too. I think I donated those. So we got lots of stuff. We just got this in today. It's a photo frame. It's only marked $4. Four bucks. You really can't get a better deal than that. And then we've got a four slice toaster down there. It's got the little thing on the side where you can make your egg sandwiches. I think my dad had one of those and he absolutely loved it. It sounds like something that's absolutely ridiculous, but he loved it because you could just make his breakfast sandwich all right on the toaster in the morning. A teapot. Some nice stemware in the back. And we've got a couple of kids. Um, kids and adult lightweight, um, like, sleepover sleeping bags. And some home decor in the back. All right. So, oh, look at how cute this peacoat is. Gosh, gosh. It's a size 2T. Oh my God, that is adorable. Look at that thing. And a Hello Kitty necklace to go with it. All right, so we're going to um, stop for now. But thank you very much for watching. And uh, stop by the thrift shop. We're open today till 4. And uh, we will open today till 4. And we'll be back open on... Wednesday. Thank you, Terry. <laughs> we'll be open on Wednesday, 10 to 2, Friday, 10 to 2, and Saturday, 10 to 4. Um, and we look forward to you coming in and buying all the rest of our awesome, bizarre stuff, because if you don't buy it, I have to lug it up to the attic, and I really don't want to do that. So come on in and buy some stuff. Take care.